How to create your first Facebook advertisement. This is a very essential part of social media marketing. It's something that you're gonna need to know how to do if you wanna bring value to people. There's definitely other mediums of advertising, but right now in current, um, current time, Facebook advertising is the way to go. Um, so um, I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm screen recording right here um, and just show you how you actually get started, how you make a first um, ad and how it can be successful. So um, the first thing that you're gonna need to do is go to business.facebook.com. So I'll leave links to all of these places um, that I mentioned here. Um, but once you show up here, um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna create this account. And once you create your account, um, you know, you're most likely gonna just log in with your, the same information as your Facebook. Um, and once you have that created, you're gonna see a screen similar to this, okay? Um, and once you're in a screen, this screen, um, you have the ability to look at so many different features um, that Facebook advertisements has, um, and it just really shows you some powerful tools um, that you're gonna be able to use to help business owners. So. Um, what you're want, gonna wanna do here is go to the business manager here in the left corner and check out um, audience insights, okay? Um, and audience insights is basically all of the data that Facebook has um, based on the criteria that you enter for it. So think of how exciting this is for a business owner um, when you can actually show them and say, hey, look, I'm gonna show you that in this state from, from ages this, from 18 to 35, we have this many potential people we can reach. This means we can sell this many products or get this many people to your restaurant, etc." So this is a very powerful basic tool that you're gonna need to know. Um, when you're beginning to provide value to these uh, business owners. So what you wanna look at here is just all the features, you have location, um, and you can narrow this down, at least on here, um, to as simple as a city. So let's do um, Tallahassee, Florida. So if you notice here, uh, if you look at worldwide, just wanna show you how these numbers change. Let's do uh, the United States. We have 200 to 250 million people. So let's say that your client is in Tallahassee, Florida. So now already you can say, all right, 200 to 250,000, okay, cool. Let's say your target market for this client is somebody between 25 and 40. You can come here and now you have 70 to 80,000 monthly active people. You got 53% are women, 47% are men. Um, and you can kind of manipulate this here as well. So you could see most of the men land here. Um, and then what's really cool is that it has all of this extra data um, that you have the ability to look at um, in terms of people's relationship status, education level, their job titles, um, so you can actually really hone in on what it is um, or who it is that you're looking for to show your advertisements to. So then you can come in here, let's say it's a restaurant for, um, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings or it's like a, you know, just an American restaurant that sells burgers, fries, beer, soda. So what you can do here is type in Burger, Burger King, In-N-Out Burger. You can type in here American food, I believe. Or let's try, um, let's try like beer. So we can get some beer. Um, we can do, you know, let's say that you're doing a promo for, 
you know, on Sunday there's gonna be football, so let's say you're doing a promo, so you're already, right now, you can literally go, okay, I'm trying to target people in, in Tallahassee that are between 25 and 40, maybe even older, you know. So once you know who your target market is, then you can really begin to manipulate with these numbers. But um, there's no real set in stone criteria. You're just gonna have to play around with it and get inspired um, to actually start to do this for businesses. So then you have food and drink here. We got like wine, we have different types of things that people could be interested in. Um, you know, maybe they like, uh, let's see, you could do, maybe they like the Miami Dolphins. See? So you can really begin to actually hone in. So most of these people are married, that married or single. Um, so now you really know how you're going to actually create the advertisement, you know, and the way that you want to actually, you know, show up to these people. So most of them, 69% of them went to college, 13% went to grad school, 9% um, are veterans. So it's really powerful once you actually begin to see all the data and information that Facebook has. Um, that you actually have the ability to use for business owners. So um, once you have that market, you know, figured out and you kind of, you know, you have it kind of solidified as to who you want to target, um, you can look at all these different types of features here, um, you know, different activity levels, different um, languages that they speak, um, and all different types of things. Um, and then you have the ability to then save this audience. So let's do, let's say the restaurant's called Burger Bar. Save it. Now you have the ability to create this ad, right? So let's do the, um, you could try either or. Um, it's kind of up to you, the more experience you get. Um, it, it's more likely that you're going to use the ad create tool. Uh, but once you're here, um, you have all these different types of marketing objectives. You got brand awareness, you have reach, you have traffic, engagement, video views, lead generation messages, conversions, etc., etc. Um, so let's say that for this restaurant you want to do a happy hour promo um, you know for two dollars off a beer when you when you come in on Sunday you know and watch the football game and get a hamburger or whatever so you're gonna want to decide between one of these and at, when you're starting um, you're gonna need to test maybe traffic versus engagement um, just to see what's going to do better, maybe test video views as well. But let's just say for the sake of this one, um, you're going to want to do engagement. So let's say you come in here and you type in burger bar engagement. So the way you name and title these um, campaign names and ad set names are very important because um, it shows how well you're organized. It's gonna also influence how well you're able to test different results here. So here you have the ability to split test and do your budget optimization. For this, we're just gonna keep it very simple and just continue on here. So now with that audience that we had saved from earlier, we can actually come here and choose the burger bar audience and say, cool, we got 21,000 people um, between the ages of 25 to 60 that are male, that like beer, the Dolphins, In-N-Out Burger, or football. Um, and then you can actually go through automatic placements, edit placements, and what edit placements is, is just shows you, so let's say you wanna actually um, you know, split test one, what you could do is you could take off these features here so that you know that it's only gonna go on Facebook and you can title this right here. Burger, oops, 
burger bar audience. So you're going to do male 25 to 60, Facebook only. Boom. Now you have that. So you're going to go down here and now you just leave it on Facebook. This is just a split test. You can always do automatic if you don't feel comfortable split testing. Um, but automatic is very simple, so I don't really have to explain that. This is actually more valuable to explain because it um, gives you the ability to split test and go through different things. Um, so once you have that there, um, you actually can do this as well. Mobile only, desktop, TV, however you want to set that up. I recommend just leaving it all devices um, or maybe even taking out connected TV since no one's probably going to convert off of that. Actually in this case um, with Burger Bar Audience my, my market's real estate so um, I'm not too familiar on how exactly this could convert but I could see having a TV you know a smart TV those people if they're watching football already and they maybe go to Facebook or something, um, you know, possibly. But let's just say no, you'll have to split test. Let's say you were going to do it, you could do this. You could do, make sure you have all these things, mobile, desktop, TV. So you could say that. And then you could make another split test on another one and just do mobile, et cetera, et cetera. But I don't want to be too complicated because you just want to get the ad up and running to get some results so you could see what's going on. This is a good feature to click only when connected to Wi-Fi. Um, not the most important thing depending on what you're providing. Here's your budget. You can manipulate this however you would like. Um, you know, if, if you're starting off, um, you know, you're going to want to test your own money, but I would say a good way to do this is to test your own budget, uh, you know, and see how many click-throughs you can get or information you can get from people, and um, you know, see see what type of results you can get, and then reach out to some business owners and say, hey, I just ran a Facebook uh, advertisement for a promotion similar to one that we could run at your restaurant and we got 150 signups do you have the ability to take on more paying customers and that's a great great way to kind of twist the way that you're coming out of business owner versus just say hey will you pay me to do your ads you're like saying hey i did some ads here because i'm learning facebook ads and I got 150 people to sign up, like would you guys be able to support that many people coming in with staff or whatnot, slash could you do a happy hour promo, etc. cetera. So um, that's a really good idea, post engagement, you can leave that. As you get more advanced, I'll take you guys through what all these do, but it's just important to get some result if you've never ran an ad before. Um, I'm going to go over here. Now you're going to want to create your ad. Um, so once you've created one of your ads here, um, and I'll show you how to do that really quick. Um, let's see if I have any here. Oops. But let me just do this. You can go to this website here and make an account here. Let me make or let me go onto my Safari. It's where I have my Canva account. I'll show you here. Canva. Okay, come here. Go to, let's see what they got. We got social media here, by the way. So let's just do a Facebook post. And then let's just do, let's just pick one of these. Let's see. There we go. Boom. There's one right there. 
Let's celebrate. Free beer. Look at that. Burger bar. And then maybe you want to like add this over here. Let's see. Add some more text. Claim your voucher below. So then once you have that kind of created, boom, you saw how quick that was, guys. I didn't even speed anything up or do anything. Um, maybe just to add some touch, um, point down, boom, look at that. And there you go. You have now created an ad, the ad. And that took me about six minutes to set up the ad just to get one out. This is, this is just how you get your first Facebook ad out so you can get some sort of results to measure. Um, you know, depending on what you're doing, you're obviously going to need to think more about it, but this whole process here already have the advertisement, already have the people you're targeting. And just by the simple fact that um, you know how to do this is of so much value to business owners. And there you go. And there's the ad. This will obviously say, you know, burger bar. And then just say, come watch the dolphins smash the ooh, who are the dolphins playing this doesn't really matter dolphins versus titans come watch the dolphins smash the titans this sunday at 4 p.m and pick oops, 4 p.m and pick up a free beer on the house. Just so simple. I mean, simple works, okay? This obviously did not take a lot of time. Um, it's just a simple ad that can convert. And then what you want to do here is, um, you know, you're, you're going to want to have some sort of, when you're first starting, if you have no clientele, um, you could use um, Google Docs, is it? Sign up. You could use, um, there's something here in Google. Um, let's see. Here. Promo sign up. This is what I, you guys have to do. You have to Google stuff. Um, let me get a link. I'll link one in the, the description below. But um, I'm trying to think of um, opt-in website. Let's see. Let's see. Why can't I think of those things? Google. There's something on Google. I'll link it below. Um, for me, I'm using landing pages and stuff like this, like lead pages or click funnels. Here's a free right here. Just do this. Boom. You can just do something like this. Don't even change the photos or anything. Just put, you know, the restaurant or something. I'll make it blank. Literally just make it completely blank and just put the email, name, and phone number. Give them a code, etc. So once you have that done, you launch it, boom, convert, or confirm, and then your first Facebook ad is done. So that's how easy it is, guys. I'll get into more details later. This is just so you could have an idea. You're going to figure it out on your own. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was of value to you guys. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.